curious, Shay, you mentioned on the show that sometimes you'll have a project in which, you know, the husband and the wife, the couple completely disagree on the end goal. How do you help them sort of meet in the middle and see your vision? Do you find that one side tends to give in? I think the joke is that the man always gives in to the woman, but do you find that that is true? You know, it's funny you say that because I always feel like when a guy gets involved in the project that he, if he's getting involved in the project at all, he's more opinionated than any of our other male clients right. most often. And so I find that the goal is to just mesh the two styles. And I think that blending styles gets you a better result than just like keeping it very one note, like going all in to like one theme, mixing styles keeps it interesting and fresh. And so I have to get every, I have to get the couple on board that like a mashup of styles is a good way to go. But then they feel like they're winning and then the other person, we all win. So yes, that's the goal here. You know, yeah. this season, we see you guys take on an array of home projects. Shay, which one was your favorite and why? <laughs> um, oh my gosh, that's like picking a favorite child. You can't do that to me. Um, I, I think that, oh gosh, I loved all of them, but probably my favorite reveal is Lozano's at the very end. Um, I loved being able to give them this dream kitchen that they have been saving and planning for for like 12 years. And then he was about to go overseas. And so I think that one just holds a special place in my heart. And Sid, what about you? Any favorite project other than your own home, of course? You can't include that one. Yeah, I think count. episode one with the calls, yeah. um, they provided really good treats most of the days. <laughs> and um, they were just super, super excited about their space. You could tell that their excitement was genuine and that they were going to be able to use it to have friends and family over a lot more. So that was really cool. Well, I gotta so say, gonna say yes to anything that has cinnamon rolls involved in it. <laughs> no, like some of the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had. So, yeah. I will say in that episode, it was mostly Shay doing the work and Sid, you were like, eighth donut. And I was like, oh, I'm on his team with this. He likes it. I'm interested in the donuts here. Uh, you know, Shay, you began, you began this business, you know, sort of on a whim by just posting photos of your own home on your Instagram. It's kind of the power of social media. Do you have any advice for other designers who might want to start their own business? Is Instagram the best way to do it? I, I mean, my experience has been that Instagram is the way to do it. I think it's such a visual platform. People go there because they want to see photos. And so it's the perfect way to get your name out there. People can discover you. And so if you're starting out, learn how to take photos because you could have the best room, but if you don't have very good photography skills, they won't show well on Instagram. And so I think I took like a day course on how, you know, and, and just like doing those types of things to just help you um, get your name out there, photos speak volumes. And, and I definitely say that that's Instagram is where to focus. Don't I know it in New York City real estate, you can't trust the photo. You got to see it in person. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's <laughs> the you know, There are a lot of home makeover shows on television. I'm sure you guys have seen them all. I want to know from each of you individually, what makes Dream Home Makeover stand out from the others? Sid, you can go first. Um, I was thinking about this the other day, and I just think that, like, it's like the lack of like cheesy drama, like, oh my gosh, like, we're, it, you know, we're all gonna die because it's yeah. like two inches too big or something. Like, it's just like, no, like we kind of share with you like what is really happening or if it's a real issue, it is. And we'll try to resolve it as, as, as best we can without it being too dramatic. You know? <laughs> Jay, what about you? Um, I think I love that we are just true to ourselves. Like we're juggling family and work and we get to show more insight into that world um, and that balance than, than other um, shows do. And even though Sid isn't like the contractor, we're still, you know, we still have a great working relationship. Um, I also love that uh, you get a little bit more insight into the families that we're working with. And there's like a range of projects. So we're getting like huge homes, one room makeovers, and that mix is really fun. And Sid's appetite, of course, has to be nonstop eating. It's a whole thing here. Yay, Sid, thank you so much for stopping by and being here today. I'm going to call you up because 
Mama needs help with her. <laughs> you got it. You got it. <laughs> People, you can binge all of Dream Home Makeover on Netflix now.